so I don't really know what this is, and it doesn't have anything to help explain that. So let's look at this and see if we can figure it out. And I'm sure there's somebody watching this who absolutely knows what it is, but I don't. I've, I've never, and if you know, by all means comment, because this is pretty cool. But hey, man, I'm, I'm a geek, not a god. I don't have all the answers. That's covered in poo. Yeah, just put that right there. Now inside, we've got these. And this appears to be in layers. So let's see what we can see. I'll take that. There's a really nice roller bearing. That wants to stay there. It, it'll move up and down, but it won't come out. So, that's got to come out. It wants to come out. And that, I think it's eccentric. And eccentric means it's, if you have, okay, see the center pin? And how this ring is around it, and that pin is at the center of this, that's concentric. This, the center of this pin is the same as the center of this ring is the same as the center of this ring. That's concentric. Eccentric is when you have a circle here and another thing that's mounted almost on the same axis but not quite, when they don't quite line up, that's eccentric. So if I had this pin with a circle in it and the circle was moved over an inch, that, that would be eccentric. And, and now you know, concentric and eccentric. And I'm going to Mikey paper towel. <laughs> I'm trying not to get everything filthy, but I might have to just say screw it and we're going to spend an hour cleaning tools when I'm done. I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me a second. <gasps> the baby didn't make it! <laughs> oh, it's so wrong! And at Christmas, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it smells, oh man. Okay, I'm going to whack this and see what I can get. See if that'll come out. I, not really. Um, yeah, that moves. Oh. Oh. Okay, hang on. All right, this, this is magic and weirdness and something, and I don't understand. It could, ah! Mike, put a couple paper towels on the table. I'm just going to hold this over here real quick. Got some, got some, yeah. Catch up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just keep telling yourself, catch up. Looks like a Manson family Christmas over here. <laughs> you got goop right there. You got, you got goop. Okay. Oh, shit. There's parts falling out. Ah! All the roller bearings are falling out. <laughs> no, little friends. Ow! I, <laughs> it's gone completely off the rails. They're just, all right, so there's a roller bearing in the middle there, and there's the rollers. We need to keep those, because those could be really good in a Goss gun. Um, and, and there's another, and look at that. Okay, so there's most of the rollers. And we, <laughs> it's so wrong! But yeah, this, this, is, this is science. Okay, despite what you may be used to seeing on TV, you guys need to understand that research is what we're doing when we don't know what we're doing, okay? I have no idea what's inside this stuff before I take it apart. I mean, I got some educated guesses. I thought it was a gear drive. It's not a gear drive. It's I'm pretty sure it's a pump, and it's a drippy, icky, nasty, sticky, goopy, schmoopy pump. But what I'm going to do is take this and put it up in here. Now watch. If I put this in this hole, you, you can see the outside's covered in these little nubs, right? And that's all one piece. And the inside is covered in matching reverse nubs. And if I put this in the hole, it doesn't quite line up. See that? But if I turn it around, it does that. And it works kind of like a rotary engine does, the, the, the Wankel engine. Look it up, it's cool. And I think what we actually have here is a pump. 
I, I think what this does is pumps. I don't know where the inputs or the outputs are. I'd really like to. It might be down the middle. It might be in one of the side holes or something like that. I really don't know. It might be a simple form of gear drive. It is. It has, okay, it is a gear drive. Now, see, what we, were, what we had not taken into account was the top, because I, I took that off and I set it aside in the beginning. And it's time for another pair of gloves. Now, can I do this without getting goop on me? Yay! Look at that, see? Ta-da! Beautiful. Now, look at the top. This is what we had, we, we just set this aside early on. We didn't get into this. Now, the top has, on the back, there's our output shaft here. And if I turn the output shaft, all these fingers move inside, right? So it is a gear reduction drive. It's just not planetary gears like we're used to. What it is is these rollers sit in these sleeves that came out of the inside of here. And this rotates the shaft. The roller bearings hold these a little bit eccentric, so they're always in contact with the wall. And it's, it works like inline gears. And where, OK, watch. Here's, here's the basic concept. If you have, remember your bike? OK, on your bike, you've got the big gear in the front and the little gear in the back, and a chain that goes between them. Now, if you have just a big gear and a little gear, every time you turn this around, that gear goes faster, but you, it's harder to turn this gear. So you have less torque, but more speed. Uh, torque is the amount of oomph behind it. If you reverse it, and you put your pedals here, and you pedal this gear, you'll, you won't move very, very fast, but you'll have a lot of oomph behind it. And more torque, less speed. Well, what we're doing here is this motor makes a lot of speed, but not a lot of torque. So it turns, this is the big gear here, and it's faking having a smaller gear inside it. It does this through the little tricks with the rollers and all that, so that this output shaft turns slower, but it has a lot more oomph behind it. So it is a gear reduction. It's not a pump. And it's one that I've never, I've never quite seen one like this before. It's, this is similar to how a power drill works, though, with the outer main toothed gear. So yeah, it's a gear reduction system. And I'm going to get this all cleaned up and make it all nice and pretty. And you'll see it in the background in a video coming up. So keep an eye out for it. It'll, it'll be mounted on a set or something like that. So yeah, that's inside the Axis One motor, the, the gear reducer. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. I'll see you next time. Bye.